Wrestling. My name's Sophie and we are here for one of the first videos of WWE 2K22. You know we're going to be going in with the tips and tricks video. If you've just bagged the game and you want to know some very important tips and tricks to start yourself off, this is the video for you. Before we get into anything, please press the like button if you could. Every little bit helps. If you haven't subscribed already, that is very much appreciated. Our new Twitter link, Discord link and merchandise link is in the description. The first tip, and this is just a tip that uh, everybody should be doing when they're going to the game. So you've got the music section of the game in these settings. In the settings you'll see the, the, the option to turn on the entrance music. So this will be if you're in the menu, if you're creating something, if you're going through match types. Anything apart from playing the game you'll be hearing the music. Now some people do like to just listen to the actual music that is put onto the game. But most of us, we like to listen to the entrance music as well. It gives us something a little bit different to listen to. A different style. Is it going to be your favourite superstar coming up next? Your favourite theme song? Or just another jam by a Machine Gun Kelly? We'll have to wait and see. Another very important thing to do is make sure you turn blood on. Because there's nothing better than going through a gory match and seeing the blood trickling down Roman's stupid forehead. We all, we all love to see it. But it turns it off automatically. So if you're thinking, where the hell is the blood? Just know that there is an option in the settings menu to switch that on and things will get a little bit more gory. Now this is one that most people don't know about, but the Thunderdome is a big thing in WWE 2K22. Do you remember the COVID pandemic? Well, so do we. And we all remember the Thunderdome as well. So if you just follow the steps on the screen that you can see at the moment, they'll take you over to the options menu where you can turn on the they're called video boards I think and if you turn those on then the arena will change into the Thunderdome. Just note though that it doesn't work on every single arena so you're going to have to see if it's greyed out then you know obviously you can't use the boards but if you can the Thunderdome will be welcomed into your game. And may I just say I do like this effect it's very nice. The Thunderdome aspect of the arenas is something I didn't expect to see but I do love. Another new feature in 2K22 is the combos feature. So in 2K20 you'd most likely be pressing square, probably pressing circle, but mostly you'd be pressing square, just button mashing at this point. But on WWE 2K22 combos are a new thing, so every wrestler has a different combo. For example, it could be square, square, x, circle, or square, circle, x, square. You'll see on the start menu of every match that your specific superstar has a certain amount of combos that you can try. They all do different things. So before you get into your first match, press the start button, have a look and see what you can do with your superstar because it hits different and it hits different in a lot of ways. Speaking of combos, just to let you know that combos and grapples are the main point of winning in 2k22 it's something that you'll be using a lot and it's heavily combo based with square it's used to initiate contact via a light strike before branching into heavy attacks using x or grabs with a circle not oh sorry with the circle the fourth and final hit is called a combo ender and deals bonus damage so that goes along with the combos as well each button does something new and that's something that we haven't seen before in the WWE games. But this has an entirely new control system. But not to worry. It is very easy to pick up and to play. It just takes you a few minutes to just get used to the controls. Now I'm sure you remember in the WWE 2K20 games. That you could unlock everything just by paying a few extra bucks. And it would unlock every unlockable feature on the game. Now in 2K22 there is a supercharger that you can purchase and this does kind of the same thing but just to let you know that items from Rey Mysterio showcase do not get unlocked by it. This means that you'll still need to play through the mode in order to unlock all versions of Mysterio. Certain characters like JBL, Batista, Eddie Guerrero and Rey's son Dominic. 
Also, there's arenas such as WrestleMania 21 and belts like the World Heavyweight Championship. There are only 12 matches lasting a couple of hours, but it's something to bear in mind as you weigh up DLC options. Speaking of the Supercharger, I just wanted to let you all know the certain people that you will get by using the Supercharger, and it is a lot of people. For example, you'll be getting the Big Boss Man, Diesel, Goldberg, Hulk Hogan, Jerry Lawler, Kane, Kevin Nash, Randy Savage, Mr. McMahon, Razor Ramon, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, Trish Stratus. There's a lot of people. I'm putting them on the screen now. The Rock, The Undertaker, certain types of championships and arenas. You will unlock a lot using the Supercharger if that's the way that you want to take it. I'll put all of the options on the screen now and you can see just exactly what you're going to get for your money. There is a lot and a lot of things on here. But there are obviously certain things, as I said, that you won't be unlocking by purchasing the Supercharger. So by playing the Showcase mode featuring Rey Mysterio, you will get these. You will get Batista. You'll get the 2009 version of Dolph Ziggler. You'll get Dominic Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, 1997 Guerrero as well. JBL, Kane 2008, The Miz 2011. Four versions of Rey Mysterio from 2005, 6, 8 and 9. And you also get the Rey Mysterio December 2009 as well. And Rey Mysterio 2011. Rey Mysterio Jr. Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker 2010. WCW Halloween Havoc 1997 Arena. WrestleMania 21 Arena. Raw 2005 Arena. Judgment Day 2006 Arena, Cyber Sunday 2008 Arena, SummerSlam 2009 Arena, SmackDown 2009 Arena, Raw Rumble 2010 Arena, Raw 2011 Arena, Raw 2019 Arena, Raw September 2019, the WCW Cruiserweight Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE Championship 2013 to 14, and lastly the Intercontinental Championship from 1998 to 2011. So that is a lot of things that you're going to miss out on if you don't. Well, if you purchase the Supercharger, you'll be missing out on all of those. But you can unlock them free of charge just by playing the Rey Mysterio Showcase mode. Speaking of the Mysterios. The other thing in the showcase mode to unlock Dominic Mysterio, this is to unlock him in every single thing. Players must defeat all opponents and complete all of the objectives. So speaking of the Mysterios, to unlock Dominic Mysterio in 2K22, players must defeat all opponents and complete all of the objectives in every match in Rey Mysterio Showcase mode. This amounts to 11 matches in total, then a bonus match will unlock, which is Rey and Dominic Mysterio versus Seth Rollins and Murphy at Payback 2020. Defeat Rollins and Buddy and complete all objectives to finally unlock Dominic Mysterio as well as his two attires as well which is his current attire as well as the attire that he wore at Payback as well. So that's just a little tip and trick there to get you to unlock Dominic Mysterio if that's what you were wondering. Another awesome thing that you can unlock in WWE 2K22 is through the My Rise mode. You can actually unlock Dominic Djakovic and he will be unlockable in the My Rise mode. One of the things in 2K22 that you need to make sure you're doing before every single match is choosing your paybacks. So underneath the superstar of your choosing, there will be an option to select a payback, and they are one of the following. You've got resiliency, escape a pin, submission, or elimination minigame with ease. You've got the low blow which is slow your opponent down with a low blow. Be careful not to get yourself disqualified. Next up is the Poison Mist. Spray Poison Mist in your opponent's eyes. Be careful not to get yourself disqualified though. Power of the Punch. Hit your opponent with brass knuckles. Ouch! Be careful not to get yourself disqualified. You've got a run in. Summon an ally to ringside to make the fight fair. Move, Show up the competition by stealing their finisher. 
requires one finisher for opponents and two special stock available for your superstar. Blackout. Teleport behind your opponent to gain an advantage. Comeback. Inflict persistent damage with strikes for a short period of time. Another good thing to remember whilst picking your superstar in 2K22 is that wrestlers with running finishers are very useful. So say you're in a match and you're charging towards an opponent, the best thing you can do is hit them with an almighty spear or a bro kick. Something that's going to take them off guard, something that's quick, something that's simple and it'll really be effective if it's a fast paced match and you want to get that dub out of nowhere the opponent is not going to even know that it's coming those were just some small tips and tricks for your first times on wwe 2k22 if you did enjoy the video please let me know in the comment section below as i said at the beginning if you could like the video, if you did enjoy, please subscribe if you haven't already. And the links for our Twitter, Discord and merch are in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please have a great day. Peace, love and a grazie.